Norwegian Cuisine, Wikipedia Article Audio Norwegian cuisine in its traditional form is based largely on the raw materials readily available in Norway and its mountains, wilderness, and coast. It differs in many respects from its continental counterparts with a stronger focus on game and fish. Many of the traditional dishes are results of using conserved materials, with respect to the long winters. Typical main meals Breakfast Dinner Meat Game Awful Seafood Curing Sauces and marinades Fruit and desserts Breads Cheese Beverages Coffee Alcohol Modern Norwegian cuisine, although still strongly influenced by its traditional background, now bears some globalization, pastas, pizzas, tacos and the like are as common as meatballs and cod as staple foods, and urban restaurants sport the same selection one would expect to find in any Western European city. Most Norwegians eat three or four regular meals a day, usually consisting of a cold breakfast with coffee, a cold lunch at work and a hot dinner at home with the family. Depending on the timing of family dinner, some may add a cold meal in the late evening, typically a simple sandwich. The basic Norwegian breakfast consists of milk or fruit juice, coffee, and open sandwiches with meat cuts spreads, cheese or jam. Cereals such as corn flakes, muesli, and oatmeal are also popular, particularly with children, as is yogurt. Norwegians usually eat dinner around 4 to 5 p.m. This is the most important meal of the day and typically includes carbohydrate-rich foods such as potatoes and protein-rich foods such as meat or fish. Norwegians usually eat supper around 7 to 8 p.m. This may be an open sandwich. Preserved meat and sausages come in a large variety of regional variations, and are usually accompanied by sour cream dishes and flatbread or wheat-slash-potato wraps. Particularly sought-after delicacies include the fenella, a slow-cured lamb's leg, and more usually a smoked cured sausage, though the exact definition may vary regionally. Lamb's meat and mutton is very popular in autumn, mainly used in farikal. Pinek jate, cured and sometimes smoked mutton ribs that are steamed for several hours, is traditionally served as Christmas dinner in the western parts of Norway. Another Western specialty is smalahove, a salted, or salted and smoked, lamb's head. Other meat dishes include Kjate caker, meat cakes, rough and large cakes of ground beef, onion, salt, and pepper. Roughly the size of a child's fist. Generally served with sauces bagnal. Potatoes, stewed peas, or cabbage and carrots are served on the side. Many like to use a jam of lingonberries as a relish. The pork version is called medister cake. KJ Buller, meatballs, a rougher version of the Swedish meatballs. Served with mashed potatoes and cream sauce or sauce espagnole depending on the locality. Svinakadaletter pork chops, simply braised and served with potatoes and fried onions or whatever vegetables are available. Svinestek, roast pork, a typical Sunday dinner, served with pickled cabbage, gravy, vegetables, and potatoes. All good cuts of meat are roasted, as in any cuisine. Side dishes vary with season and what goes with the meat. Roast leg of lamb is an Easter classic, roast beef is not very common and game is often roasted for festive occasions. Lapskos, 
stew, resembles Irish stew, but mincemeat, sausages, or indeed any meat except fresh pork may go into the dish. Farikal, mutton stew, the national dish of Norway. Very simple preparation, cabbage and mutton are layered in a big pot along with black peppercorns, salt, covered with water and simmered until the meat is very tender. Potatoes on the side. Stektapelser, fried sausages, fresh sausages are fried and served with vegetables, potatoes, peas, and perhaps some gravy. Siltlab is usually eaten around and before Christmas time, made from boiled, salt-cured pig's trotter. They are traditionally eaten using one's fingers, and served as a snack and sometimes served with beetroot, mustard, and fresh bread or with lefts or flat bread. Historically Siltlab is served with the traditional Norwegian julel, beer, and liquor. This is because Siltlab is very salty food. Pinekjate is a main course dinner dish of lamb or mutton ribs, and this dish is largely associated with the celebration of Christmas in western Norway and is rapidly gaining popularity in other regions as well. 31% of Norwegians say they eat pinekjate for their family Christmas dinner. Pinekjate is often served with pureed sweet and potatoes, beer, and akivit. Smilahov is a traditional dish, usually eaten around and before Christmas time, made from a sheep's head. The skin and fleece of the head are torched, the brain removed, and the head is salted, sometimes smoked, and dried. The head is boiled for about three hours and served with mashed sweet and potatoes. Sod is a traditional Norwegian soup-like meal with mutton and meatballs. Usually, vegetables such as potatoes or carrots also are included. High cuisine is very reliant on game, such as moose, reindeer, mountain hare, duck, rock ptarmigan, and fowl. These meats are often hunted and sold or passed around as gifts, but are also available at shops nationwide, and tend to be served at social occasions. Because these meats have a distinct, strong taste, they will often be served with rich sauces spiced with crushed juniper berries, and a sour sweet jam of lingonberries on the side. Offal is eaten extensively, lever paste being one of the most common fillings for sandwiches, along with silty and tongue. The one traditional Norse dish with a claim to international popularity is smoked salmon. It is now a major export, and could be considered the most important Scandinavian contribution to modern international cuisine. Smoked salmon exists traditionally in many varieties, and is often served with scrambled eggs, dill, sandwiches and mustard sauce. Another traditional salmon product is gravlox. Traditionally, Gravlox would be cured for 24 hours in a mix of sugar and salt and herbs. The salmon may then be frozen or kept in a chilled area. Since grav means buried it is a common misunderstanding that the salmon is buried in the ground. This was the case in the medieval ages because the fermenting process was important, however, this is not the case today. Gravlox is often sold under more sales-friendly names internationally. A more peculiar Norwegian fish dish is rockfisk, which consists of fermented trout, a culinary relation of Swedish surströmming. Until the 20th century, shellfish was not eaten to any extent. This was partly due to the abundance of fish and the relative high expenditure of time involved in catching shellfish when set against its nutritional value, as well as the fact that such food spoils rather quickly, even in a northern climate. However, prawns, crabs, and mussels have become quite popular, especially during summer. Lobster is, of course, popular but restrictions on the catch limit consumption, 
and in addition lobster has become rather rare, and indeed expensive. People gather for crab fest, which translates to crab party feasts, either eating readily cooked crabs from a fishmonger or cooking live crabs in a large pan. This is typically done outdoors, the style being rather rustic with only bread, mayonnaise, and wedges of lemon to go with the crab. Crabs are caught in pots by both professionals and amateurs, prawns are caught by small trawlers and sold ready cooked at the Keys. It is popular to buy half a kilogram of pie prawns and eat it at the Keys, feeding the waste to seagulls. Beer or white wine is the normal accompaniment. The largest Norwegian food export in the past has been stockfish. The Atlantic cod variety known as scray because of its migrating habits, has been a source of wealth for millennia, fished annually in what is known as the Lofotfisk after the island chain of Lofoten. Stockfish has been a staple food internationally for centuries in particular on the Iberian Peninsula and the African coast. Both during the Age of Sail and in the Industrial Age, stockfish played a part in world history as an enabling food for cross-Atlantic trade and the slave trade triangle. A large number of fish dishes are popular today, based on such species as salmon, cod, herring, sardine, and mackerel. Seafood is used fresh, smoked, salted or pickled. Variations on creamed seafood soups are common along the coastline. Due to seafood's availability, seafood dishes along the coast are usually based on fresh produce, typically poached and very lightly spiced with herbs, pepper, and salt. While coastal Norwegians may consider the head, roe, and liver an inseparable part of a seafood meal, most inland restaurants do not include these in the meal. In northern Norway a dish called melge, consisting of poached fish, roe, and liver, is often considered a national dish of the region, and it is common for friends and family to get together at least once during winter for a melge -ecolas. A number of the fish species available have traditionally been avoided or reserved for bait, but most common seafood is part of the modern menu. Because of industrial whaling, whale meat was commonly used as a cheap substitute for beef early in the 20th century. Consumption has been declining over time, but whale meat is still widely available in all parts of the country and most Norwegians consume whale meat occasionally. Eating whale meat is not considered controversial in Norway. Other fish dishes include Rockfisk, Norwegian fish dish made from trout or sometimes char, salted and fermented for two to three months, or even up to a year, then eaten without further cooking. Rockfisk must be prepared and stored very hygienically, due to the risk of developing Clostridium botulinum if the fish contains certain bacteria during the fermentation process. Torsk, cod, poached, simply served with boiled potatoes and melted butter. Carrots, fried bacon, roe, and cod liver may also accompany the fish. A delicacy which is somewhat popular in Norway is torsketunger, cod's tongue. Lutefisk, lead fish, a modern preparation made of stockfish or clipfisk that has been steeped in lye. It was prepared this way because refrigeration was non-existent and they needed a way to preserve the fish for longer periods. It is somewhat popular in the United States as a heritage food. It retains a place in Norwegian cuisine as a traditional food around Christmas time. Preparation and accompaniment is for fresh cod, although beer and aquavit is served on the side. Stekt fisk Braised fish, almost all fish are braised, but as a rule, the larger specimens tend to be poached and the smaller braised. The fish is filleted, dusted with flour, salt, and pepper and braised in butter. 
Potatoes are served on the side, and the butter from the pan used as a sauce or food cream is added to the butter to make a creamy sauce. Fatty fish like herring and brizzling are given the same treatment. Popular accompaniments are sliced and fresh pickled cucumbers and sour cream. Fiskjup, fish soup, a white, milk-based soup with vegetables, usually carrots, onions, potato, and various kinds of fish. Sersilt, pickled herring, a variety of pickle sauces are used, ranging from simple vinegar sugar-based sauces with tomato, mustard, and sherry-based sauces. Pickled herring is served as an hors d'oeuvre or on rye bread as a lunch buffet. THS dish is popular Christmas slash holiday lunch in Norway. The basic methods of curing are used, drying, salting, smoking and fermenting. Stock fish is fish dried on racks, meats are dried, salt curing is common for both meats and fish. Fermenting is used for trout. Smoking is mainly used on the west coast as an addition to drying and salting, maybe because of the wet climate. Along with the rest of Scandinavia, Norway is one of the few places outside Asia where sweet and sour flavoring is used extensively. The sweet and sour flavor is utilized best with fish. There is also a treatment called graving literally burying, a curing method where salt and sugar is used as curing agents. Although salmon or trout are the most used fish for this method, other fish and meat also get a treatment similar to gravlox. Gravlox, sweet and salty cured salmon, a filleted side of salmon or trout that has been frozen for at least 24 hours to kill off parasites, is cured with the fillet is covered with a mixture that is half salt and half sugar, spiced with black pepper, dill, and brandy, covered with cling wrap, and cured in the refrigerator for three days, turned once a day. Gravace alg, sweet and salt cured mousse, this treatment may be used for all red meat, but game and beef work best. It is the same procedure as for gravlox but brandy is often substituted with aquavit, and dill with juniper berries. Pickled herring, a pickle is made with vinegar, sugar, herbs, and spices like dill, mustard seed, black peppercorns, onion and so on. The pickle must be acidic enough to prevent bacterial growth. Rinse Salt cured herring is added and allowed to stand for at least 24 hours. Tomato pickled herring, this pickle in a thick sauce, 4 tablespoons tomato paste, 3 tablespoons sugar, and 3 tablespoons vinegar are mixed and thinned with about 4 tablespoons water, flavored with black pepper and bay leaf. Salt cured herring is rinsed cut in 1 cm thick slices in a raw, sliced onion added. Let stand for at least 24 hours. Fruits and berries mature slowly in the cold climate. This makes for a tendency to smaller volume with a more intense taste. Strawberries, bilberries, lingonberries, raspberries, and apples are popular and are part of a variety of desserts and cherries in the parts of the country where those are grown. The wild-growing cloudberry is regarded as a delicacy. A typical Norwegian dessert on special occasions is cloudberries with whipped or plain cream. Strawberry apple pie is also popular because of its rich flavor of strawberries and apples. Rhubarb pie is another favored dish in Norway. German and Nordic style cakes and pastries, such as sponge cakes and Danish pastry share the table with a variety of homemade cakes, waffles, and biscuits. Cardamom is a common flavoring. Another Norwegian cake is crumb cake, a paper-thin rolled cake filled with whipped cream. Baked meringues are known as pikekais, literally translated as girl's kiss. 
During Christmas, the traditional Norwegian holiday season, many different dessert dishes are served including jewel cake, a heavily spiced leavened loaf often coated with sugar and cinnamon, and malta creme. Bread is an important staple of the Norwegian diet. Breads containing a large proportion of whole grain flour are popular, likely because bread makes up such a substantial part of the Norwegian diet and are therefore expected to be nutritious. 80% of Norwegians regularly eat bread, in the form of open-top sandwiches with butter for breakfast and lunch. A soft flat bread called lefs made out of potato, milk, or cream and flour is also very popular. The variety of bread available in a common supermarket is rather large, Wittenberger, Groveboard, Lof, sourdough bread and other German-style breads. Baguettes, ciabatta, bagels, and so on are also popular. During the Hansa Attic era, cereals were imported in exchange for fish by the Hansa Attic League. The German Hansa Attic League and the Danish colonial masters obviously influenced the Norwegian cuisine, bringing continental habits, taste, and produce. Norwegians are particularly fond of a crisp crust, regarding a soft crust as a sign of the bread being stale. Oat is used in addition to wheat and rye and is perhaps the most unusual cereal in bread making as compared to continental Europe and the UK. Seeds and nuts are rather common ingredients, along with olives and sun-dried pickles, to improve the texture of the bread. Cheese is still extremely popular in Norway, though the variety of traditional products available and commonly in use is severely reduced. Norvegia is a common yellow cheese as is Jarlsberg cheese which is also known as a Norwegian export. The sweet guy tossed or brown slash red cheese is very popular in cooking and with bread. More sophisticated, traditional, or extreme cheeses include the gamalost, an overmatured, highly pungent cheese made from sour milk, pull tossed, made from sour milk and caraway seeds, and glost flavored with cumin and cloves. Norway has a particularly strong affinity for coffee and is the second highest consumer of coffee in the world, with the average Norwegian drinking 142 litres, or 9.5 kilograms of coffee in 2011. Coffee plays a large role in Norwegian culture, it is common to invite people over for coffee and cakes and to enjoy cups of coffee with dessert after the main courses in get-togethers. The traditional way of serving coffee in Norway is plain black, usually in a mug, rather than a cup. As in the rest of the West, recent years have seen a shift from coffee made by boiling ground beans to Italian-style coffee bars, tended by professional baristas. Coffee is included in one of the most traditional alcoholic beverages in Norway, commonly known as karsk, from Trondelug. Both industrial and small-scale brewing have long traditions in Norway. In addition, the volume of craft-brewed beers from an expanding number of microbreweries, in the recent years has increased significantly. Despite restrictive alcohol policies, there is a rich community of brewers, and a colorful variety of beverages both legal and illegal. The most popular industrial beers are usually pilsners and red beers, while traditional beer is much richer, with a high alcohol and malt content. The ancient practice of brewing jolel persists even today, and imitations of these are available before Christmas, in shops and for the more potent versions, at state monopoly outlets. Cider brewing has faced tough barriers to commercial production due to alcohol regulations, and the famous honey wine, MJD, is mostly a drink for connoisseurs, Norse and medieval historical reenactors, and practitioners of Asatru and other Norse Neopagan religions.
The climate has not been hospitable to grapes for millennia, and wines and more potent drinks are available only from the wine monopolies. Distilled beverages include Akivit, a yellow-tinged liquor spiced with caraway seeds, also known as Aquavit or other variations on the Latin Aquavitae, water of life. The Norwegian liney style is distinctive for its maturing process, crossing the equator in sherry casks stored in the hull of a ship, giving it more taste and character than the rawer styles of other Scandinavian Akivitter. Norway also produces some vodkas, bottled water, and fruit juices. In rural Norway, it is still common to find Hjemebrent. For personal consumption, it is illegal by Norwegian law to produce beverage with more than 60% alcohol by volume. In Norway beer is available in stores from 9 a.m. to 8 p.m. on weekdays and from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. on Saturdays. Moreover, you can buy wine and spirits until 6 p.m. during weekdays and 3 p.m. on Saturdays in government-owned and run liquor shops. Only true grocery stores are allowed to sell beer, gas stations and so-called fruit and tobacco marts are not.